This summer's dramatic jump in air travel has caused backlogs at airports all over the world. Now one of the hardest hit of all, that's London Heathrow, is limiting how many passengers can leave every day. Think about that for a second. Now that's likely to cause problems for thousands of tourists who are there. Ramey Innocencio shows how big cutbacks during this pandemic have left airlines and the airports struggling, really struggling to handle the load. Slow, snaking lines at Heathrow immigration and rows of abandoned luggage. Brits are rushing back to the skies after two years of COVID stasis. Simon Calder is a British aviation expert. And of course, the airlines want to make as much money as they possibly can. But unfortunately, while they're taking the bookings, they're not making sure that they've got the resources to get people where they need to be. Those resources are employees. Many laid off during COVID, many jobs still unfilled. Getting an aircraft into the air requires 20 different skilled individuals. Unfortunately, of those 20, half a dozen of them are off doing something else. Not just in the UK, but across Europe, pilots and airport staff striking for better pay, leading to British Airways cutting nearly 30,000 flights come this August, Scandinavian air systems filing for bankruptcy protection in the US, and more European airlines facing walkouts. But if you can handle the hassle at departure, you might have a happy surprise on arrival for your next European getaway. Asia, but particularly China, simply isn't traveling abroad. The number of visitors from the U.S. isn't going to be anything like the usual numbers. And, certainly... and who doesn't want just a little bit more of Europe on their vacation after the din and the roar of planes taking off? But uh, those cancellations and that mad crush of people, they're expected to continue through October, November, even later, say experts. And we are already expecting more strikes later next week. Vlad? All right, Ramey Nascencio at Heathrow. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it.